These are the moments a magnitude 7.6 earthquake struck Western Japan. The ground shakes for nearly a minute. In the city of Wajima, near the epicenter of Ishikawa Prefecture, downed power lines sparked fires. But across Japan's western coast, there was another threat. A major tsunami warning is in effect for Noto Ishikawa Prefecture. We are currently observing a large tsunami. People near the shoreline and riverbanks, please evacuate to higher ground. Nearly 13 years after a tsunami and the most powerful earthquake ever recorded in Japan killed more than 20,000, people here are scared and run to hide. The whole room was shaking, the TV was shaking, I had to keep um, everything uh, on the table. Uh, yeah, uh, I, do, I did felt safe in my room though, uh, but everything else was shaking. The impact of the quake leaves homes in ruins roads fractured and debris scattered across streets. That prompted concerns about the safety of nearby nuclear power plants, played down by Japan's nuclear watchdog. There are currently no reported irregularities with nuclear power plants. But the threat is not over. Seismologists are warning of possible aftershocks or another strong earthquake and say they could happen at any moment. Axel Zaimovic, Al Jazeera. So let's take a closer look at where the earthquake struck. Now, the epicenter uh, of the 7.6 magnitude quake was in the central Ishikawa prefecture. People living in western Japan were told to move to higher ground or as far away as possible from the coast. Now, the quake has extensively damaged public infrastructure, roads in the city of Wajima, have cracked and more than 36,000 homes in Ishikawa prefecture are without power. Chris Gilbert has more from Tokyo. They're asking locals to stay vigilant. Uh, that is the message coming from the Prime Minister because it does seem as though uh, high tide has passed in uh, that part of the country, uh, that the tsunami, um, you know, by all reports, uh, warnings are not going to become more severe. In fact, they have been downgraded from a major tsunami uh, warning to just, um, you know, a tsunami warning in the, in the last hour or so. And so they're asking, um, you know, locals to not be complacent yet. Um, but that may be, uh, you know, just uh, the tip of the iceberg in, fa in, in terms of what people in the government is facing. Uh, the major issue at the moment is the number of buildings that have collapsed, uh, tens or dozens, uh, depending on, uh, you know, the, the reports you're looking at. Uh, the government has identified at least uh, six to ten uh, people uh, trapped inside buildings and maybe uh, much higher than that, considering the government is usually quite conservative about, about these numbers until they're official. Uh, as you can see, it's it's also quite cold and this is in Tokyo it's much colder on the Sea of Japan side of the country and so even if people aren't uh, trapped in a house that's collapsed they are trapped necessarily in a house without any heating and there's a lot of older people in that part of the country as well uh, as we heard in the report there's a large fire in Wajima the roads are broken services can't get through um, and so on top of the tsunami a whole lot of uh, perils going on at the moment for the people uh, of Ishikawa